How are you? Hi. Good. Fucking flying dude or what? Okay, this is a row of boulders. Just looking in at them. Making some research vids for my uh, Santos Bonacci series. You can take your camera out of your pocket, just so you know. I should have said that at the beginning of the last video, but I forgot. Um, you can take your video camera out of your, uh, your camera phone, whatever. Um, and you can... Uh, start without me you know you can just start looking in on these now i'm trying to grab stones but i have sun beating down on them a little bit um again lights and shadows lights and shadows if it was a darker out i might even throw flashlights at these um bring an led flashlight with me and shine it on it if i knew how to use my cell phone better without fucking up the video i would turn my uh camera light on I'm um, doing different types of stone, you know, clay, marble, um, all different types. Um, a lot of the imagery that I'll be bringing in you, you in on later, I assure you I can see it with my eyes right now. I could actually, if I had a little stand, I could set this up and go over to this stone right here. Any of these I just showed you, and I could start pointing it all out. Um, but that's hard to do. What I will try to do is, um, uh, I'd have to be set up for it. I mean, if I had a helper, I'd be all set. Um, what I will have to do, though, at some point, um, I want to get some stuff with human interference so I can show you the difference. You can see the difference, uh, in other words, the drill marks. And I did some when I was camping a couple weeks ago. I did some videos on it. And um, uh, the drills, uh, the drill marks and stuff like that. So, so you can understand that you can still see the imagery. Might as well go in on this tree while I'm here as well. Gonna go right in on this tree. Right up to get the whole tree in. I do this for every series. I probably won't get to these right away because I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna start Santos off in the moon anyway. So these are just gonna be on my Santos series, and I will go back to them later. 
Uh, but while you're waiting for me, if you want to, you can just pull your camera phone out of your pocket. What I'm showing you right here, just start looking in on it with your uh, camera phone. Turn your camera phone at 40 to 50% brightness. And um, put this on your monitor of your laptop or your uh, PC or even a... Uh, I'm seeing some shit. Uh, what do you call it? Anything. Uh, you know, just uh, put, put it on your... Uh, what's the other one? Tablet. Uh, not tablet. Yeah, tablet, iPad. That's the one I'm thinking of, tablet. So that's it. Just some stones. Let's go down and look at the water, too. This one's pretty interesting, too. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some answers to a lot of questions that I have that I haven't really been bringing up, um, but they're in the back of my mind. Uh, the imagery, um, as far as the imagery goes, what stones, uh, what different looks. For example, I'd give you, uh, if you go watch the last series I did, Beyond the Imaginary Curve of Brian Austin Lambert, look for the ice. When you find the ice videos, notice the difference uh, that the nanocarbon reacts to frozen ice, things that are frozen compared to like the water. Uh, I'm about to do a water video right now. I'm, I'm walking towards the water as I do these little rocks, um, boulders, whatever. And I'm gonna be—I'm just working my way back to my coffee right now. While well, I'm doing this, I'm going to work my way back over to my coffee. And um, so now this is on the shade side, so I might as well come up here in the light. And, and I'll come down the other side of these rocks once I get my coffee in my hands. And again, if I took photographs of this... If you take photographs of stones, rocks, just like everything else, you can download them on your computer, do 360s with the photographs on your computer, and uh, and you'll see what I mean. There's no left, right, up, down, and maybe you'll be able to understand that a little more as well. What I'll do, this is just going to be a research vid. Maybe I'll just do a few long research vids. I'll try something a little different with the Santos series. Instead of doing uh, short little stuff. Uh, what I'm what I'm meaning is that what, what is the imagery any different from one stone to another? In other words, is it more beastly? Is is the beastly in, uh, imagery that I'm seeing uh, more so in one type of heavy metal than another? Uh, is it a matter of the light? Um, and I say this because when I'm doing grow rooms and I'm testing the light in grow rooms, I do see a difference. Things that are grown with LED lighting, I'll tell you what I've tested and I'll tell you what I still need to test. Maybe someone else out there will be willing to, to do some of it. Um, okay, when I tested the LED lighting, uh, it's more beastly, let's say, than, um, and, and I should do a video on it. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Um, keep distracting myself because I'm seeing shit all over the fucking place. So yeah, a, a different stones are, are going to um, 
I'm still feline, canine, ape, rodent, and human, and beast, but I want to know, are they nicer? Are they prettier? Are they more mean looking? What we know is dark or evil. Um, in certain stones. Let's see. That one. There's a lot in that one. Hmm. Pretty cool. Hey, how are you guys? Yeah. There's a lot in that going on too. Next one. See now that's a, a, a crack but no drill marks. That one's been broken but no drill marks. Um, these guys interrupted me. I forgot what I was fucking talking about. I know it's uh, the ice and the imagery. So yeah, the, the imagery. Oh, the grow rooms. So yeah, the grow rooms. Uh, mercury vapor, the halides. They're. Uh, not so beastly as the LEDs. The LED lights give you more beastly images than um, than the rest I mean it's amazing how it's all around us how it's everywhere um, it's almost like people just like refuse to look because it would be too scary uh, but it's not it's not scary there's nothing scary about it it's our system we should know how to use it I think they count on us being scared that's why we're always taught wrong information. We're always given false cities and false shit. Um, for Santos series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, inside the caves and shit, too. When I get uh, towards 60, 70 videos on the series. Because um, I think that's important, too. So I think that's why I'm going to take... Um, I'm probably gonna pick someone that, like Jamie Lee from A Plain Truth. I think that he should be the one that I should do the series with Santos because I can go through his videos, have a real good time calling him out because that's all I can really do with Jamie at this point. Jamie Lee is just call him out. He's obviously full of shit. Everything at, uh, comes out of that fucking dude's mouth is always some kind of government conspiracy bullshit story and when you give him any truth or reality of anything he goes the opposite way with it um so i think maybe it'll be fun to do that and this way i can rank him out we can use all his own videos to prove how full of shit he is that would be fun you know um just kind of like I wanted to do a Brian Austin Lambert because that's why I was coming to stones like this that um, were clay stone. And showing him that the imagery is everywhere. I don't care if it's fucking clay stone. So if you want to send people to uh, clay rock, clay stone to be safe from this big event, from the new, from the next reset, because that's what it supposedly is, the next reset button. Or I should say the time that they hit the next reset button. So here's a big one. We'll do this one. And then we'll go hit the water. Okay, just a big boulder, that's all. Here's another one. They're all over the place, but I'm just picking some that I 
myself from 10 feet away, I can see all the imagery very clearly, so I might as well do them. And all I do is pause this video and look in on it with my uh, camera phone. There's a green filter on the camera now, which I should probably adjust because it looks like it's falling down a little bit. There we go. Um, I've been to this park before, but I have not done any of the stones that I'm doing now. So I might as well do them on here. I think the light was coming from another direction last time I was here. Okay, I could, if I wanted to, show you the ones with the human interference. Um, I, I stay away from human interference. So in other words, these blocks here uh, on this bridge, these blocks were all um, obviously cut by humans. So even though this outside porous part, I can go in there and get you the imagery, and it would be an honest interpretation because we did not just, you know, we broke that. That was broken there. It wasn't chiseled, it wasn't drilled. Where I'm showing you right now, where this camera's aimed, you can see it's on that block. Um, so, yes, the imagery's all in there, no doubt about it. But again, as soon as I point out that it's a block, that it, it's human construct, then, uh, you know, human interference, then forget about it. Okay, so the flowing water. I don't know if I'll get much out of this, but it's okay. We can do the scenery anyways. Uh, we can do everything else. The water don't really seem to be flowing all so fucking great today. Don't want to lose my camera. But that's all right. We're just going to do an overall view because this is, one again, same thing I'm trying to show you guys everywhere. That the feline canine ape rodent and human and beast. How are you? Good. So I'll just take a quick swing around. I'll maybe zoom in on some of these stones on the other side. I'll go down here so you'll see the same everywhere. I'll have to go to the old video when I go to do water for uh, Santos. over to those rocks up there. Trees growing out. All right, so that's 18 minutes. I think that's good enough um, anyways, because I've already got so much other uh, Trees, I guess. Could just do a generalization. Do down here, I guess. All right, let's do this one. All right, so this is the other side of the bridge, just a uh, grass field. Not grass, but trees, bushes, branches, you name it. Some water on there. Water flowing better on this side than that side. Let's see. Nah, not really. Let's see, you might have to zoom in on it. Oh, okay. No, I think we can get some water if I don't drop my phone down there. Uh, let's see. Yep, no problem. Okay, so we're just going to look at this for a minute. Now, if you want to, you can take your um, phone out of your pocket. Pause this anywhere. Just keep pausing and pausing and playing, pausing and playing. Come on, you fucking bugs. Um, and you'll watch the imagery change as the water flows.
come over here a little bit more. This worked out good actually because uh, last time I got it from the opposite side. So this is this side. This will be great. Yeah, this will be great. Wonderful. One more of the field. I call it a field, but obviously it's not a field. It's trees, bushes, whatever. Landscape. Good enough. Okay, I think that'll do it. Going to different types of stone. If I see a different type of stone, I'll go to it. It's kind of nice going stone to stone like this too, boulder to boulder.
Alright, it's long enough. It's a long video.